Okay. Hello. How are you? Hi, guys. Hi. 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 Hello. It's been a pleasure to be with you, okay? <laughs> We're starting a new group so far. That's amazing. There you go. We have a lot of people here. I'm, I'm so happy that all of you are really punctual. That's what I love. There you go. Wow, we have a lot of people here. That's amazing. All righty. Shall we do something right now? Okay, we can, we will like, I would like you to, to present yourself. That would be amazing. So uh, we'll get to know each other a little bit better, okay? Oh, okay. My name, is, well, let me start first, okay? Because I'm the teacher, I need to start first. <laughs> All righty. My name is Sylvia. I'm going to be your teacher um, for this model and hopefully for the next models. Hopefully. Okay, we're going to do our best. We're going to work really hard. But at the same time, hopefully we're going to meet each other a little bit better. Uh, became a family and also friends and work together. Okay. So that would be amazing. Okay. I'm, a, I'm an open my mind and open uh, and the person. That means that you can approach me anytime. You can write anytime if you have any questions or if you won't be able to attend any class for some reason because you're sick, because you're tired, or anything that happens. Okay. No questions regarding the platform, I would be more than glad to help you as well. Okay. So don't be afraid to write. Okay. Um, I'm 24 7, but don't take it literally, please. Okay. <laughs> please. All righty. <laughs> All righty. Oh, um, well, what can I say? Mm, I love to read. I love kids. I love animal. I'm an animal holic. I love coffee. And I love Coke, but I cannot drink Coke right now. I cannot find any Coke in the supermarket. So that's not possible. <laughs> All righty. And I'm, I'm also a person who loves to learn foreign languages. Okay. So that means that um, I love to read a lot. And grammar is my specialty. So we're going to work really hard with all of you. <laughs> all righty, guys. Well, that's a little bit of me. Now I want uh, to meet yourself individually. So let me change and let me switch one of you randomly. Let me double check. Uh, okay, Claudia. Who's Claudia, by the way? Claudia. Hi. 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 Uh, first of all, I want to uh, see you, and also uh, I want to hear you. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay, Claudita. Okay, I'm, we're listening to you. Go ahead. Could you please uh, tell us about yourself a little bit? Uh, my name is Claudia Marosi. Okay. I am an analyst in... Um, Okay. And I love animals. Yay! Good. I had to do two dogs. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I got three. Huh. <laughs> and, um, only, only, only. Oh, cool. Cool. That's okay. Thank you so much, Claudia. <laughs> All righty, who, who else? <clears throat> Madeline? I want to hear you. Okay, Madeline? Okay, Madeline, hi, how are you? Madeline, oh, this is my name. Okay, uh, my name is Madeline Naraya. I, I work as a teacher, as an English teacher, yes. but basic teacher, basic teacher. Um, I am accountant and I love animals, uh, the cats. I have three cats and two, um, and two dogs, but uh, right now I only have cats. I, I have many, many students in my work because I, I teach accountant and English uh, an English accountant. Oh, okay. I, I, I teach. Uh, I have with the with children um, in in teacher. I, I am an English teacher, but I have 
the I have bad when I make mistakes because uh, my problem is when I I I listen I listen and you speak so quick oh, I, yeah. I, I don't understand I, I need a, a ear a slow and I is I un understand this is and I I'm glad to to know to all my classmates and you teacher. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you so much for letting me know what is exactly you're expecting in this class because we're going to develop each skill. Okay. Actually, that is thank one you. of my goals. Okay. Uh, each you. class, my pleasure, will be focused on a specific uh, uh, skill to develop. And we're going to develop the four skills actually. Because it's really important. And as you said, the listening skill is one of the most uh, difficult in English. Yes. And especially my, when they speak really fast or when they have a different kind of accents. My last teacher was Flor in, oh. in, that, in, your, in your work. Yeah, my company, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's really nice. Uh, company, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, bye. bye. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is my coworker. <laughs> Very good. All righty. Who else we do have here? Iris, how are you? Uh, hello. Hi. We cannot hear you. Let me double check. Hello, can you hear me? I, I cannot hear you. I cannot hear you. Can you hear it? Okay, Hi. cool, cool. Yes, go ahead. Hi. Yeah, can you, can, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, okay. Hi, my name is Elis Sanchez. I am really happy to start class. I'm new in, in this um, system mm -hmm. online. Uh, at the last year, I studied English in, in the other models in, in English Corporativo. I expect um, take away, um, you know, the, the rhythm mm -hmm. again. <laughs> okay. That's and nice. mm -hmm. for my uh, personal life, I am a mom. Uh, I have two girls. I live with my mom too. And I work <laughs> every day in a week, and I, I, my, uh, my skills, my goals for this uh, study. I hope uh, wins uh, new abilities for my job. That's nice. Yes, definitely. I will, I will guide you, and I will help you to do that. Okay, that's what the purpose of the course. Definitely. Thank you. My pleasure. All righty, Roberto. How are you, sir? Hi. Hi, how are you? Pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. How about yourself? Uh, very good. I'm a little bit nervous because of well, my first why? time. This is the first time. Is Iris as well? Yeah, no. <laughs> it's my first time that I started English. Really? I'm, I, learned, I learned a little bit in the United States. Okay. I, I stayed for a couple of years um, over there. Um, but uh, I never started uh, before. Mm -hmm. So uh, my goals, my name is Roberto Orellana. I work like uh, a accountant. Accountant, okay. Um, and and, and Madeline say, yeah, okay. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Continue, I'm sorry, uh, apologize. <laughs> okay, um, my goals is know more about English grammar, um, verbs uh, i don't know uh, irregular verbs that is more difficult um it's more difficult for me to uh, understand when people speak uh, very fast Madeline, mm -hmm. yeah i need to the people speak uh, a little bit um, i don't know slowly not fast, slowly exactly okay uh, Ooh, that's going to be harder for me because I speak really fast. Okay. <laughs> and you know what? I will be a proper model, actually. Okay, but I will try to speak slowly, okay? 
I will okay. do my best. Okay. And, thank you. and guys, uh, be. Um, uh, I want you to see me not like I'm, oh, she's the teacher, she's the boss. No, 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 no. We're a family. We're our friends, okay? We help each other. Uh, basically, we're a team. So if you uh, consider that I'm explaining a little bit faster, or I'm speaking a little bit faster, you just raise your hand with the Zoom icon over there, or just literally raise your hand. You say, teacher, you know what? To be honest with you, I didn't understand. Or can you please speak a little bit slowly? And I will do it, okay? Don't worry about it, okay? Because I want to make sure that you do understand. My, I'm as a teacher, I always think that a good teacher is the one that it opens a mind, gives you a hand, but most important, taught you heart. Okay? Okay. That is, okay. That is a good teacher. And I'm a person who always wants that you uh, understand a quality of knowledge, not a quantity of knowledge. Okay. If you just um, know one topic, for example, but you are sure that you know uh, that well and you know how to explain it. That is my goal. Okay. Okay. Quality okay. of knowledge, no quantity. And I will try to do my best to explain it a little bit easy because grammar is a little bit complicated and nobody loves it. But I love grammar, you know. I'm a grammar holic. I'm a pageant with grammar. So I will try to help you in that. And grammar is really important. It's a basic thing now, surely. It's basic. Okay. okay so Thank you. My pleasure, sir. Uh, who else? I have Rodrigo here. Hey! <laughs> How are you? I'm sorry. No, don't it's worry. Not... Is your husband, is your <laughs> friend? Don't worry about it. No, my son. Is oh, your son. My, okay. My son connect your uh, Zoom class. Okay. Then appear Rodrigo. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't worry okay, about it. My that. name is Maria. My name is Maria. Um, I I am a vet veterinarian. Yay, and I okay. Work on, yes. <laughs> Madeline is also happy. Okay. Yeah. And I work at. Um, industry to feed to animal and well i need to speak more english because in my work i need it Definitely. yeah i understand but speaking is more difficult to me okay i know yes exactly for some of us speaking for another one listening grammar yes writing yes and reading yes I know it is different. Yes. 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 So don't worry. That's why we're going to develop all the skills. And I promise that the first week I'm going to be a nice teacher. But the second week, okay. I do not promise that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. We're going to uh, do a lot of uh, exercises, a lot of practice. And yes, guys, all the classes we're going to speak. But I will, I will, um, I will give you some, some uh, advice. Is that try to speak or try, when I ask you something, try to speak with or use the vocabulary that you already know. Okay, don't try okay. to use like sophisticated vocabulary or for, um, words like they are like oh my gosh, it's like so intellectual. No way. Yes, just use the vocabulary that you know. Okay. And with the vocabulary that you okay. know, trust your press yourself. That is one tip. Okay. And then uh, okay. when you continue learning, of course, and reading and everything, you will increase your vocabulary. And you will yes. and you will know uh, more about, for example, more about veterinary terminology, accounting terminology, uh, IT terminology, right? Different kind of stuff. And I promise that I will try to search for some extra information regarding uh, each of you um, profession, okay? So I can like send it okay. to you and that also will be like an extra for you, okay? Because we're in, okay. we're intermediate right now. So like, that means that we already speak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's why I will be a little bit tough, okay? But I'm, but I'm a nice teacher, okay? Don't worry about that. But that's okay, nice. That we're, hey, Madeline, we have um, we have our doctor for our pets. Definitely. Well, mm -hmm. I I was work 
in, I think two years ago, uh -huh. I'm a veterinarian uh, in a clinic and I love it. But oh. uh, the opportunity is to, how do you say, to pay more? Mm, so they, they, they do not, they, they are not more open doors to practice that veterinary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, and and then this is this opportunity is more uh, maybe uh, attractive. Yes, mm -hmm. and Got it. talking to the pay. Yeah, mm -hmm. in regards of payment or earning money. Mm -hmm. Got it. I understand that. But oh, but even though we can get in touch with you. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much, Marie, for uh, for giving us all the extra explanation about what what is exactly what you do. We do really appreciate it. But let me uh, meet somebody else, Gabriela. Hi, Gabby. Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. That's nice. Um, <laughs> well, my name is Gabriela Diaz, and actually. Um, currently, I'm working for Avianca, for uh, I'm working in the call center for Avianca, but in a Spanish account. And oh. my goal is to uh, speak English very well and can change to an English account. I think you're lucky. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> because as a teacher, I do have nine years of experience in the call center. Ah, oh, really? I have worked in a call center, yes, for uh, bilingual and trilingual accounts. So mm -hmm. I will help you as well, okay? Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. and the listening part is really important in a call center. <laughs> Definitely exactly. it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so don't worry. We're here to help you, okay? Okay. So you're lucky. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm not going to miss your uh, name because you have the name of my niece. Really? Yes, my niece's name is Gabriella as well, but she's in, she is 16 years old, but she's like a 1.80 meters. So she's like a huge girl. Yes. <laughs> One day I will, I, I will show you a picture, okay? Promise. Okay. <laughs> okay, who else? I do have my man, Alberto. Hello, sir. How you doing? I, I cannot hear you. No, I cannot hear you. What happened with Alberto? He left. Oh my God. No. I think he's gone, right? No? Okay, in the meantime, where Alberto figured out about uh, his uh, microphone, uh, let me double check Mr. Jose de la O. Hello, sir. How are you? Pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. How about yourself? Well, my name is Jose de Lao. I am an Android developer in Visitel El Salvador. Okay. Uh, and uh, one of my hobbies is play football, read some technology news from developers' new settings uh, of my programs, you know? Uh, yeah, no. To my goal so to this class is preferably to my speech. I consider I read the, very well the English, but the speaking is the one of the the, the weakness uh, part of my English, uh, and that's all. Okay, that's okay. Not a problem. We're going to help you with that. And with me, you're going to speak. <laughs> you have to show it with yes. Oh. Uh, Oh, we speak or speak? Which one you prefer? Mm, the first one. <laughs> this is, uh, definitely, right? Yeah, of course. Yes. yes. All classes you're going to speak. <laughs> okay. You see? You you have a star already speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? So that's nice. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. And I have to let you know something, guys. You have to study with me. Mm -hmm. Every class, please. Because I'm a really bad teacher sometimes okay <laughs> you gotta study or you gotta study you, ha you have two choices you ha i think you're going to pick the first one um <laughs> yes because every class i just start with a little review about what we have seen last class okay and that I, I i take that into consideration for a lot of things 
So it's you better, yes, I am. Imagine <laughs> physically, <laughs> you're going to suffer with me. No, no, no. Yes, but uh, I'm a teacher who loves commitment. Okay, okay. And, and I'm so happy with all of you because I know that some of you have said that uh, you have work, uh, um, mm -hmm. you are tired, maybe you have a study or like Iris that she has uh, two babies and sure. still she's working every day. So I know that for some of you have been a really tough day. But mm -hmm. uh, to, to be here in the class, I'm so happy because it shows your commitment. Yeah, absolutely. It shows your commitment and uh, the willing to learn, the willing to, to grow and to move forward. Yeah, go an extra mile. Yeah. So I'm so happy with that. And yes, definitely. And also, I will be happy if you do um, <laughs> the platform exercises as well. <laughs> okay. Yes, that, that will helps you a lot because that will give you like some idea about what will be the topic for the for every day so you will have you will be like on the same page you know yeah okay definitely okay so thank Wait. you jose my man joe <laughs> very good excellent who else julissa hello julie how are you my girl i am julissa i'm from honduras yay very good <laughs> Yeah, I'm living here in San Salvador for almost um, three years since I got married. With a Salvadorian. <laughs> no, with a what? What Tamil Tech? And come, on, <laughs> come on, you are so you're an international girl. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, from Mala, I'm from Honduras, and we're living in El Salvador. That's amazing. Yes, amazing. We love El Salvador. Yeah, we love it. So. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> At least you found a, a neutral. Place. that's good yeah. <laughs> and we marry here so it was an elder an elder country country so our people from honduras and guatemala need to come here so yeah um i have no kids i'm an engineer and i'm working with my husband in the motorsports industry it's fun <laughs> We sell the egg accessories for the people who practice extreme sports, such as um, motocross, um, mountain bike, and all that stuff. <laughs> a little bit Great. of extreme sports. So there we are. I'm in the sales and marketing department, and I'm willing to, to improve my reading, and, and I need to be here for to practice my English so I can get better... I don't know, pronunciation or better conversations because I barely do it. I, I practice my English just with uh, some emails I got to, to send or something, but hearing it and practicing it, practicing it, it's really important, I think. Definitely. Practice makes perfection. Yeah. <laughs> the more you practice, the more you improve it. And definitely, we're going to do a lot of practice. <laughs> writing will be as well okay so don't worry about it we're going to help you okay everybody's paying attention right to what everybody says because as i'm a teacher yeah. I, i'm also allowed to um to play some games sometimes nice. and you gotta pay attention to what all the people where there. are you from ah guess Oh, I didn't hear it. No, I didn't say. <laughs> oh, I like some like Shame on you. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no. No, I didn't say where am I from. Okay. So where are you from? Yes. Oh, it's a surprise. Yes. Will you guess? Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> I will I will tell you later. No, I'm from El Salvador or Central America. Oh nice. Yeah, I am. Okay. I'm from El Salvador, Central America, but I speak English since I was eight years old. Nice. Exactly. So things uh Practically speaking, in my whole life, it's or Spanish and English are my basically my two native um, languages, if I can say that. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you too. Very good. Julie, Gabby. Okay, Alberto, finally. Very good. How are you, sir? Hear me. Yes. Yay. Finally. Great. <laughs> finally, yeah. Okay. My name is, my name is Alberto Aguirre. Mm -hmm. I'm currently home for quarantine. Yes, everybody. Um, <laughs> yeah. I had that uh, everybody loves uh, the animals. Yes. Uh, I love too, but I don't have. Yeah. <laughs> and what else? I don't know. Oh. My, maybe my specialists are uh, to, um, to develop my knowledge and skills about English. Okay. Cool. Hmm? No, no, nothing, nothing. That's it. Yeah, That's thank it. you so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> All righty. Who else? Gerardo? Yeah, Gerardo's is like. Yes. Hi, Gerardo. How are you? We gotcha. Can you listen to me? Can you hear me? No. Can you hear him, guys? No, right? We cannot hear you. No. No, we cannot hear you. Yeah. And, I, and he's on mute, so. Mm, nope. What, nope. What, what happened? I don't know. Maybe his um, headset could be, or the internet, that might be. Sometimes it's not working uh, friendly, so that's good. Oops. You know what? I heard like if we were in an airplane, like Houston, Houston, we don't have a problem here. Yeah. Yeah. Let me check. In the meantime, while we're waiting for her hour to, to like double check what's going on with his microphone, and um, Oscar. Hello, Oscar. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. And you? Ah, oh, pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. Okay. I am Oscar Mahano. I'm 25 years old and I want to learn English because I want to make the toy test and I have to practice listening and grammar because it's so difficult for me but I am I'm fine and I want to learn a lot about, a lot of about this language definitely my man you're more than welcome and we're going to help you and don't worry uh, I know about the toy in the TOEFL, <laughs> so yes. I will help you. I will help, okay, and I will thanks. give you, and I will give you some tips in regards to reading and listening, because that okay. is the two parts of the toy and the TOEFL that everybody feels. But yes. we're going to develop, and you're going to pass. Okay, I promise. That's okay. my goal. <laughs> let me double thanks. check. You're welcome. And let me check. Hello, Gerardo. Hi. Can you hear him, guys? No, right? Oh. No? I don't know. Something happened, but don't worry about it. Okay, let's play a game. Um, okay, if you were like really paying attention, and hopefully you did, okay, uh, somebody says that has two girls and she's living with her mom. Who said that? I... I Rodrigo, I think. Iris. Who said that? Iris. Yeah, exactly. Iris. <laughs> Iris, very good. Okay. Uh, also, somebody said that uh, she works in a call center and currently on a, a Spanish account and she would like to improve her English to move forward to an English account. Who said that? I think Gabriela, no. Yay, very good. Uh -huh. You were paying attention. Also, somebody said that um, is an engineer, works in a sales department in a marketing department uh, with her husband at home. Yulisa. Yulisa. Uh, okay, that was easy. <laughs> that was easy. Okay. And, okay. Somebody also said that used to live in the United States uh, and he's back here in our, in our country and would like to improve. Uh, his English as well, because the speaking is one of the hardest part for him. Who said that? Roberto. Roberto. Okay. Hey, very good. Roberto. Okay, also there are two people that said that they work in an accounting department. 
and would like to also improve their English. Who said that? Two people. Roberto. And who else? <laughs> Oh, yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. Not so bad. <laughs> yeah, you see that? Alicia is really happy. All righty. And also, there's somebody who said that he would like to improve his English, also to pass an important English exam. Who said that? Oscar, right? No. Yeah, you're right, 100%. And also, there's somebody who, um, also uses uh, her zone Zoom and um, <laughs> used to work at a veterinarian, and uh, but she's still working in the animal industry, but now just Maria. for the... Um... Maria. Uh -huh. Okay, Maria. <laughs> you didn't let me finish the explanation, come on. <laughs> 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 Very good. Okay. Okay, guys, this is really important. You know what? We have uh, spoken a lot. And also today, if you... Uh, have noticed, we had used the past. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, definitely. <laughs> because today, the teacher, we, the first 30 minutes and just speaking and speaking, mm -hmm, and it's for one reason, guys. Don't, I'm really full prepared for you. But as I said, we're going to develop the four skills, okay? So we have started to develop the speaking skill, which I really love the most. But today it will be like the hardest part. No, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. Okay, definitely, guys. Today, why I have let you know that that little um, game, if we can say that, we you have uh, spoken about the past. You have used the past, and that's what we're going to learn today. Uh, today, guys, um, our first topic for the first class. I, I, it's only me who's happy. Okay. <laughs> no, uh, okay, the first topic would be um, the simple past, guys, okay? So okay. basically, uh, the simple past we're going to learn in two days. The simple past, we can use it with the verb to be, and also we can use it with the auxiliary did, which is the past of the auxiliary do. But today, we're going to start um, with auxiliary be, with auxiliary B, we're going to uh, check two types of questions. There is a just no question that we only use the auxiliary B at the beginning of a question. And the WH question that we use it when we like to talk about the past, but we need to um, search for more information for the person that we're asking that question, okay? So we're going to, do, uh, to double check that today. And also, we're going to practice the pronunciation of the words and the intonation of the questions, because it's really important, okay? Not, all, not only because you would like to hear that uh, there's another people that are asking you a question, but at the same time, the pronunciation of a just no question and the WH question is different. One intonation goes up and the whole intonation goes down. Which one it is? We're going to learn it, okay? So are you ready? Mm? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we're ready. Yes, we're ready. I'm ready. Yeah. You're ready. Okay, yeah, cool. So yeah. we're so welcome to the jungle, guys. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> welcome to the English class. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, Rose. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love that that group. Axel Rose. My goodness. Okay, cool. And just, okay, please. No, this is English class. Come on. Oh. <laughs> All righty. Okay. So welcome to the jungle. And yeah, no, welcome to the English class. The party is about to start. Okay, let me open my screen a little bit. All righty, and I'm going to share my screen right now with you. Give me just one moment. Osman, it's been a pleasure, Mr. Hernandez. Oh, hey, you remember one of my co-workers, he used to be Osman. And I used to call him my man Os. And huh? also awesome man. Osman, awesome man, you know? Maybe yeah. you understood Osman. me, okay. <laughs> Osman. Osman, okay. No, 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 I was telling you about my friend, that he, oh, okay. his name is Osman as well, but I, okay. uh, I used to call him Awesome Man. Okay, cool. So let me share right now on my screen. There you go. Give me just a moment. I have one question. Yeah, okay. Go ahead, I'm listening to you. Okay, 
Uh, do we need to watch the video before the class or after the class? Before the class, it will be amazing. Okay. And we need to watch like 1.1, 1 1.2 1 or something like that? Eh, well, basically, I'm a teacher that um, I'm not going like 1.2, 1.3. No, I'm not like that way. I'm, all, I'm going to double check, for example, all the points that are related. Okay. And I, and I teach them in one or two lessons. Okay. So at least I want you to, all the points that are related, for example, to simple paths, we have 1.1 and 1.2. So okay. we're going to basically double check it in this class and, to, and tomorrow's class as well. Okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But my best recommendation would be to double check all the units. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, Julie. Don't worry. <laughs> All righty. Very good. Uh, are you able to see my screen, guys? Yes? yes. yes. Okay, cool. Yes, yes. Okay. So today we're going to talk about uh, what is a simple past. And because you said that reading is not one of your hardest part. Who said that? Mm. Let me check. Oscar. Okay. Okay. Could you please be so kind to read for me? What is a simple past? What is a, it's a verb tense which is used to show that a complete action took, took place at a specific time in the past. The simple past is also frequently used to talk about past habits and the generalizations. And blah, 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 right? <laughs> and, generaliz okay. and generalizations. Very good, thank you so much. Good reading. Okay. Very good. Okay, guys, so you see right now my timeline, right? Okay, we got the past, we got the present, and we got the future, okay? So, future. You, exactly. So you see that the X represent the simple past. In other, in other ways, sir, uh, guys, uh, the simple past, we're talking about simple past when we like to display an action that starts in the past and ends in the past, okay? Nothing comes in the future. Something that you did in the past, but today in the present, no longer exists. Or you don't do it anymore. For example, um, when I was a child, I didn't I used to, see well. Yeah? Excuse me? I didn't see well. You cannot see well. Okay, cool. Let me one moment. Why not? What happened? Is this like weird? The, the letters are bad. The letters? Okay, let me the double letters. check. Let me double check if I can like do it again. Yes, I I see you very well, but thank you. <laughs> I, I want to read the, the I cannot. You cannot read it. Maybe maybe yes. it's because um you need like to to um press put the presentation like in all the screen, maybe? In like in screen. Live uh, ah, okay. Oops. There you yeah, go. We're oh. getting all the all the oh, faces at the, at the right side. So we're just seeing part of the of the text. A simple past. Simple past. There you go. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. What is a simple past? It's a bird land to a bird tense, which is the user to show that a complete action took place. A uh, specific time, the past, the simple past is also free. This is to talk about past habits and generalization. Okay. Generalizations. Very good. I'm happy. I was worried about that. I can't see it. No, come on. Yes, you see? Thank you. You know what? I, I'm so glad that I have an IT department as well. Julie's is one of my IT departments, so that's great. She's my right hand. Okay. <laughs> Very good. So you see, guys, the X is there because the simple past is something that we talk about that is in the past. Okay? For example, the example that I was giving to you. Uh, when I was a child, ooh, long time ago, right? <laughs> okay. I used to be messy, but now... And net. What does it mean? That when, when I was a child, my broom, it was a completely disaster. The socks were over there, uh, my shoes are over there, uh, my dress were under the bed, etc. That is a mess, a completely disaster. But now that I already grown up, I'm not anymore like that. 
am net. That means that I'm an organized person. Everything is in the correct order. If you get into my room, everything is clean. Okay? Do you understand what I'm talking about? Cool? All righty. There you go. So let me stop sharing right now for a little bit. Woo. Okay, guys. So let me ask you. Um, Joe, what is a simple past? My man, Joe. Hi. When do we use the simple past? When the action needs on the past and in the present is not exist. Okay, cool. So that means the simple past, can we, um, can we refer to something that also exists in the present? No. No, no. no. Okay, past is past. Yes. Okay, very good job. And guys, this is really important because Latin American people, we mix the third tenses. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. For example, Salvadorian has start talking about the present. Then you go back to the past. Then you start talking about the future. And they're like, oh my God. <laughs> and no, we're like completely the same. Yes, right, Iris? Yes, we are like that. So no, in, um, British people and American people, they're really organized. If you start talking about the past, stay in the past. Don't mix it up. Don't do a salad with the verb tenses, no way, okay? Stay in the tense that you're talking about. Okay. okay. That is one of my goals right now. Okay, guys, very good. So let me just one moment, because I'm going to show you something else. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Do me a favor, in the meantime, can you think about um, a verb tense? In the past? Don't worry, I'm not going to ask you right now that. I don't know, don't worry about that. Okay, cool. There you go. Okay, let me share my right now my screen because I said that we're going to just double check about the um, simple past right now with the was affirmative and where. Sentences. Yay, affirmative sentences. Personal pronouns plus simple past verb to be. Exactly. Uh, Today, to be, I like it. Yeah, today we're going to talk about simple past with the verb to be. Guys, past. I want the simple, okay, tell me, I want quickly as possible, okay? Who can tell me what is the uh, simple present of the verb to be? What are the three verbs that we use? Here are three verbs. Yeah, which okay. one are they? Is. Is. Are. Are. Am. Um. Um. Okay, cool. Uh, I use an with which pronoun? Um, I. Exactly. I, what about is? He, he and she. He, 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 she. He. Very good, Madeline. And what about are? You, the, you, we, and we. we and exactly. We. Very good job. Very good, Madeline. So basically, with simple past, it's more simple. That's why it's simple past. Because basically, we're going to use only two. We got was and we got where. Yes, that's where. In the past. Exactly. Exactly. Take a look at this one, guys. Okay, we're going to learn the structure right now for the affirmative sentences. Okay? We got, first of all, we got the pronoun. Then we do have was a word, depending on the pronoun you're talking about. And we do have the complement. I do have an example here. Can you see it, guys? Yes. Madeline, can you yes. see it? Yes. yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay. If you double check, each each of them is a different color. Because I want you to pay attention to that. Okay. If you double check I and we, and sorry, I and he, which is the um, simple part that we use? I was a question. Was. 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 Exactly. Exactly. Was. So guys, was. with I, with he, with she, and with it is going to be was. Yes. Exactly. And we, you, we, and they is going to be? Where? 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 Exactly. So you see, this example follows the formula. Can you please read it for me, Gabby? The first one. I was, please. I was, I was a good a student, student at school. Okay. At school. Very good. Excellent. Uh, second one, Oscar. Go ahead. 
He was at work yesterday. Very good. Yeah. Madeline, the third one, please. And you were sick last week. Very good. Uh, Julie, the last one. They were in Peru last year. Very good. Very good, guys. So you see, this one is easy, yeah? Right? Easy, peasy, queasy, right? Piece of cake. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You follow the rule. If you follow the structure, everything is going to be right. Remember, affirmative. Pronoun was a word, compliment, okay? And please, guys, never forget the period at the end of the sentence, please. Yes, this is really important, okay? Especially for the one who's going to do the um, Oscar, for you that are going to do the toy, don't forget the period at the end of the sentence, please. Because okay. you could have everything correct. But if you miss the period, you're wrong. Yeah? Okay. This is really important, guys. Also, I'm going to focus on the punctuation. Okay? I don't care. I, I don't care if you if you write wrong in, in Spanish. But in English, yes. Teacher. Yes, yes, Madeline. I I cannot uh, write, I, I cannot uh, read the uh, very good because uh, the letters are, are are bad. The letters are bad. What yes. about this one? Is it good? Oh, yes. No. It's okay. Good. Okay. So it's much better now. Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. Very good. Okay. I'm so happy. So you're okay right now. Okay. Cool. I just wanted to double check something really quickly. No, I cannot. Don't worry. Don't worry, everything's going to be all right. I promise, Madeline. <laughs> what happened? Is this really hard? Yes, I, I can see, but... There you go. Uh, what about yes. now? Okay, okay. Much better? I was on vacation last week. Okay. Ah, you were on vacation last week, okay. Yeah. Okay, don't worry about that. Teacher, what you're doing? Don't worry about it. I'm a crazy sometimes, so... Okay. There you go. Can you see it, guys? Yes. 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 Cool. Yes. Okay. Now, guys, we're going to learn about a negative way. Okay. We'll follow the same structure right now. We got the personal pronoun here, but now there's a difference. We have to remember that an affirmative way is was and where, right? Right. Yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. But now if we're going to make it in a negative way. We got to put wasn't. Or weren't. weren't. This, is, this is the contracting way. However, you can also put it However. in a in a in a re, in a in the regular way. Wasn't is the contraction way or was not. Okay, and weren't. Yes, very good. Is the contraction way or were not. Okay, we're and then not. we have the complement. We have an example here. Um, Mary, can you please be so kind to read it for us? The first one. Yes, I wasn't on vacation last week. Exactly, I wasn't on vacation. Or if you if you put it in the in the regular way, can you read it for me again, with the words in parentheses? Uh, I was not on vacation last week. Very good. Why I ask you to read it for me twice? Because guys, even though uh, you know that wasn't is a contraction way to was not, but if you do see wasn't here like this you mm -hmm. need to pronounce it in a contraction way because there are some people that said i was not on vacation last week but you didn't have the the words that are in parentheses you have the ones that are in contraction way but you pronounce it like a whole way in no way if you have a contraction you got to pronounce it in a contraction way okay Okay. Really important. Okay, okay. Okay, cool. There you go. Can I have the second sentence, uh, my man Joe, please? Jose. Me? Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> she wasn't at the park last Saturday. Very good. Iris, the, la the third one, please. You, you weren't sick yesterday. Very good. Alberto, the last one, please. They weren't happy with the score. Very good. Okay, let's practice. We want that? 
Yes, right? Okay, thank you. Teacher, come on. Okay, <laughs> can I have one affirmative sentence and then one negative sentence? I would like one each of you, okay? That means two. One positive and one negative for each of you. Who's going to start? Who's going to be the victim? Sorry. Who's going to be the participant? And okay, I'm thinking about a number for one to six. Give me one number, Madeline. Uh, what? Hi, <laughs> I, I, I didn't understand. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to first. practice right now. And I want you to, each of you, give me one sentence in affirmative way in past. In one ah, in sentence in a, in a negative way. But, okay. uh, but it's going to be randomly, democratically. So I'm going to ask you that give me one number between one and six. And if you uh, give me the number that I'm thinking about, you're going to start, okay? Give me one number, yes. please, from one to six. Give me one number. Eh, Gerardo. No, one number, number. Ah, number, eh. Number one, number no, one. No, Alberto. Give me one Hello. number. Yes, give me one number. One number. From one to six, please. Um, five. Uh, no. no uh, Julie, can I have please, the number from one to six? Uh, four. Yay! <laughs> you are the lucky one. Congratulations. Okay, <laughs> you're yeah. sorry. You can I understand? Yes, <clears throat> thank you so I much. I didn't understand. <laughs> Don't worry, Madeline. <laughs> okay, can I have one affirmative sentence and one negative sentence, please? With what? The word? Okay, uh, before the class today, I was hungry, so I prefer um, a dinner for me. Okay, very good. Now, a negative way. But my husband wasn't hungry, so he hasn't mm. eaten, so I need to go and make dinner for him. Working oh. after this class. Oh, I'm sorry. You said, you know what? Kitchen is closed. <laughs> All right. Very good. Who's next? Osman, go ahead. Well, uh, I was at work mm -hmm. yesterday. Okay. And I wasn't at work yesterday. Okay. Very good. Thank nice. you. Mari, go ahead. Me. Yes, Mari. Okay. Uh, I was eight pupusas yesterday. Mm -hmm. A negative sense. Uh, I wasn't playing football. Okay. Uh, last week. No, I was, uh, I was okay. Thank okay. you. Very good. No, Oscar, I, what about you? And I was playing video games yesterday, mm -hmm. and I was on drive yesterday. Okay. Uh, Madeline, what about you? I was given a class yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, I was uh, a negative form. Yes. Uh, I, I wasn't... I wasn't at the park mm -hmm. uh, because it was raining. Exactly, very good. That's a great example. My man Joe. Me, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> and I wasn't at the work yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I was uh, sick yesterday. Uh, you were <laughs> sick yesterday? I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm so happy that you're okay right now. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, Iris, one affirmative and one negative one. I, I was um, do exercise yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't eat pizza yesterday. <laughs> ah, you're on a diet, yes, because doing <laughs> exercise and eating pizza, you're not going to lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very good. Thank you. Alberto. Hello. Hello, okay. sir. <laughs> now is your turn. Okay. I wasn't home the last week. Uh, mm -hmm. I wasn't home last week. Okay. Gerardo, can you hear us right now? We cannot hear him, right? Yeah, I, we still cannot hear you. 
but you can write it down. Okay, cool. And we're going to read it, okay? Take your time. Don't worry about it. Just write it down in the chat. Okay, cool. Um, Roberto, what about you? Hi, Roberto. What happened? I was sad yesterday. I was really happy yesterday. 